Welcome back to the show. Well, now for the next instalment, our floor manager is laughing, and I don't know why, in our series on how to be a good morning person, Carl. Today, we are looking at how to get up and active in the morning, even if you're in a rush. So we're joined by fitness instructor Michael Ryan. Michael, great to see you again, my friend. Thank you. Nice to be back, guys. So you're going to tell us how to get motivated when we get out of bed and exercise. Obviously, Carl and I can't do that, otherwise we'd be exercising at 2 a.m. Absolutely. But a couple of the quick steps to, to get in the right mind frame is to stop telling yourself you're not a morning person. As soon mm -hmm. as you tell yourself you're not a morning person, you'll never be a morning person. That so makes sense. start by saying, I am a morning person, or I'm an emerging morning person, is a good one. Um, have your workout gear ready to go. Train with a friend is a good reason. Get up nice and early. Have water the first thing as soon as you get up. Yep. And work backwards to sleep. You know, six to eight hours is what we need. So if you want to get up at five, you've got to work backwards from there. Six to eight hours is when you need to go to bed. Okay. All right. And so if you, um, for example, don't have a gym that you go to, yep. let's talk through some of the things that we can get busy with. Yeah, so we talked about the five minute workout and one of the things I do in a five minute workout is work on the strength components. So what we're talking about is working out the muscles and bones, which helps improve bone density, muscle strength, metabolism, Very all those other for things. Women, bone so density. in five minutes there's so much you can do, but just for the sake of things, we'll just do two simple exercises today. Let's start with the push-up. Now we know the standard push-up, which is just hands underneath the shoulders coming down to this position and up, or mm -hmm. otherwise as a beginner point is from your knees and push up. Yeah, or the beginner. more advanced yeah. version, which uh, this one I, Carl was promising me he was going to do, but anyway, it's the Spider-Man push-up, where you come oh, down and you rotate. Oh, jeez, on the knees. Can, can I have a cushion? <laughs> Tim, can you throw me a cushion, please? What? You can this also... is a really hard floor. I said this at the start, Lisa. Lisa, you've got to tough it up. I probably do, but that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. <laughs> So you can go from your knees and do it, and you can just bring your... Whoa. And Carl, you're meant to do the... F you promised me you'd do this, Carl. Mm. It's going to be a bit difficult in these shorts, I would have thought. So there's one for the upper body that also obviously works the midsection as That's well. Right. It becomes quite a compound exercise, mm. taking That's a good, simple Carl. simple movement and making it different. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a dog about to walk up on a tree, I, I think. <laughs> what? If you don't like right. it, if you don't like That's it, look away. Pretty. <laughs> Okay, I think we should stand up, guys, because it's not good TV at this point in time. Uh, I don't know, that's so the other one I like to do is everyone talks about uh, for the lower body the lunge. Now we all know the lunge as a, as a forward lunge or a reverse lunge, but the best one, or not the best one, one I really like is the lateral lunge. So it's standing with your feet together, keeping this leg nice and straight. You come out to the side and you come down to this low position. Hands in the let's call it the praying position to start with, then back to the middle and out yeah. to the other side. Yeah. So come down to this position here. And back to the middle. <laughs> yeah, this is like, I think the other thing's got in your head a bit much here. Happy <laughs> Costello. <laughs> so, uh, and the other thing you can do on the lateral lunge is you can step Ooh, and lunge good. and you can rotate the body. So a lot of the times you'll see in the, in the gym and other places. Ooh, that's, that's a good uh, yeah. lower back. It's you can so feel it, can't you? It's good for quads, hamstrings, glutes, inner thighs. Women love it for the inner thighs yeah. um, and other areas. But yeah, you can add all types of things. You can add dumbbells, you can add uh, medicine balls, you can add hand weights, all to create a point of difference with it. So, in the five minute work... How do you get out of it? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Come on! Thank you. <laughs> that's really good, that's a really good yeah, stretch, that one. Yeah, you can feel it. I really like yeah. the shorts. Uh, one little thing, Carl, is try not to turn the what feet out. One little thing? <laughs> so, what have you heard? I think it's the middle thing. Oh, middle, yeah, go on. Yeah. In, in the core? Well, yeah, and, and, and a lot of the exercises we train people on these days are what we call dynamic movement style exercises or functional based exercises that actually replicate movements that we do in normal day to day living. Mm. Yep. As opposed to the old school way, which when I say old school, it still has its place, but the sagittal movements, so the presses, simple presses and things like that, what which is are just sagittal one. Sagittal movements. Sagittal plane movements, so one direction. Is that where your sag is? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, no some people sag. sag around there, but uh, <laughs> this is really cool because the new, I mean, the new wave of fitness yep. is all to do with body weight, isn't it? And, and doing your own body weight, really, and, and the Pilates style of exercise. Look, look, it's, it's a combination. That they all have their place, and I think body weight movement absolutely has its place. But there's no doubt that resistance adding to that type of body weight can also be beneficial. So I'm always of the opinion: don't get too fixated on one style of exercise. Yeah. Have a very open mind. Take the best out of what you see in all different styles of exercise and you get the best results. Yeah, it's good advice. Very Anything good advice. else to, yeah, I think if you are exercising, it does seem to clear out the mind too. So, I mean, if you can get it done first thing in the morning, it's the best time. Well, I gotta say to you guys, you guys get up what time every morning, 3 a.m.? Yucko clock. Mm. Yeah, but you become in that mindset of getting up early. And I bet you when you're driving down the road, you feel good about, well, maybe not as 3 a.m., but you start to feel good. It's all about the mindset. When you start getting in a good mindset, it carries yeah. on through the whole day. You That's feel very true. energized for the entire day and you feel like you're ahead of the game all the time.
I'm feeling energised. You Me feeling energised? I'm feeling energised. My son is, finds it embarrassing um, that I'm wearing Birkenstocks. They, they used to be in trend when I was his age. Forget your son. I find it embarrassing socks. too. He's so 70s cool. Yeah, he thinks that it's not cool. Well, I, I thought we were I need focusing to on your calf muscles, that. how uh, fit, well defined they are. Oh no, he's doing that at the same time. He can multitask. <laughs> You just gotta find the intent. That's actually a calf stretch. Yeah. And you've got to find the intensity. Yeah, you found it. There it is right there. That's intensity, folks, right there. Okay, good to see you, Michael. Right. Nice to be back. Thank you very much.